I'm entering the village of Adderbury, uh, specifically East Adderbury on my map, uh, in the hunt for today's geohash. Uh, Adderbury is just barely into the 52 minus 1 graticule, that's the graticule north of my home graticule, which means this is going to. Oh, that's a very pretty bridge. Oh, pretty bridge. Um, Sorry, distraction there. This is one step closer to my Minesweeper achievement. This will take me to uh, level two, if I can uh, find it. The hash point seems to be in a field right next to a public footpath, which is very promising. The whole village is really quite pretty. I haven't been here before. I've driven through once or twice, but um, I've got this lovely walled allotment over here. All I know about Adabri at this point is that in the 18th and 19th century, it had a community of Quaker clockmakers. I don't know why I know that. I've come here today straight from work, and I was pleased to see a reasonable looking pub over there called the Red Lion, which might be to serve me dinner. Is that another pub? It is! There's a second pub right along here. The uh, Coach and Horses, which you probably can't see. Looks like I'm going to have a choice for dinner. I've elected to award myself a pub dinner if I get to the hash point. If not, it's home for a cheese sandwich. Some more seriously pretty buildings. Moo? We're all waiting here to be let out. I know, someone coming. No, I know. I don't need. I'll leave you be. I seem to be making a thing of meeting cows near hash points. It's an achievement for that. 100 metres. Looking promising. I don't know about the rest of the world, but uh, the, um, the UK has enjoyed an extremely hot summer. And we've got mountains of blackberries. I've been eating blackberries for weeks. Oh, look at these ones. And, um, my kids are getting sick of uh, blackberries for snacks and blackberry pudding for dessert and uh, what I'm saying is there's a lot of blackberries. The downside is that um, the nettles are also out in full force. Ouch nettles, ouch nettles, ouch nettles, ouch nettles. I should have worn long trousers. Dog. We had a bumper year for some fruits in the UK. So it turned out that that footpath was a bit of a bust and didn't take me exactly where I was looking for. Luckily, there's a stile and a public right away. I think it might be formerly common grazing ground through the field with the cows. So I'm now in with the cows, trying to find the last 30 metres and avoiding cow paps. Hello cows. The cows are a little surprised to see me here. Ah, that way. Okay. 28 metres along this hedgerow. 10, oop, this way a bit. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Here it is. Hash point 2018, 08, 22, 52 minus 1 complete with cows. Hello gate. I like your style. Conveniently this style is uh, full of rusty old pins so I've been able to attach a, uh, a the internet here is here sign. Hooray internet. Thank you for sending me here. So I awarded myself my uh, dinner at the coach and horses there. It was very good. Though I did have a strange conversation with the barman. I said um, can I have ham, egg and chips, please? He went, certainly. 
Um, for those of you not in the UK, or for whom ham, egg and chips doesn't sound like a meal, it really is. Ham, egg and chips, I said. He said, certainly. One egg or two. I said, oh, I'll have two eggs. He went, ah, we haven't got any eggs. And so for a moment, I had to check that I wasn't in a Monty Python skit. I almost expected to next have to say that I'll have my chips without egg and that he would then say, oh, we don't have any egg. Would you like your chips without something else instead? His um, uh, possibly wife then appeared behind him and said, oh, we've got one egg. I said, OK, one egg. And I went and sat outside and a few minutes later my food came out and there were two eggs. Um, and she looked at me and she said, I found another egg. I don't know where she found it. Um, I don't know if perhaps they have chickens and they just hadn't checked the coop yet. Um, but nonetheless, it was a good meal. Now I better go home.